probably so weird but i did a poll on my instagram and i asked if you guys wanted to get to the sephora haul tonight or tomorrow because i guess i'm the last stop for my ups driver because this happens every year and you know it's daylight savings time so is it or is it not it's whatever happens when it gets dark early so as you can see the sun is going down behind me so i can't film in my filming room because it's dark outside so we're in my kitchen and you guys know i am real so yeah i'm dressed casually because i'm making dinner and i was doing a little bit of work today and i'm also using a pen to open this package so if you guys would like to see what i got in this year's sephora sale please keep watching and i'm sorry that my face is kind of in the shadow of my hat but i'm also having a bad hair day <laughs> and there goes the oven one second this is a real video y'all this is real life so if you guys did not see the first video i posted i will link that down below basically sephora is doing oh i don't have on a lip i brought this down to look halfway decent <laughs> So, Sephora is having a 20% off sale, a 15% off, and I think a 10% off sale for VIB Rouge, VIB, and Beauty Insider. So, I will link that video down below with all the dates. One thing I want to tell you guys, if you did not use Ebates to make your purchases or if you're not going to, what are you waiting for? I literally used $100 from Ebates to go towards this purchase. You guys know I didn't get to shop the last VIB sale or whatever you want to call it. So I was super excited. I saved up a nice amount of money and I've been chatting with my girl Natalie and my friend Lakeisha how it feels like it's Christmas. I've been waiting for this package all day. I'm so excited. So you guys get to share in my excitement while I open this. And for all of you who are worried about me, as you can tell, this is the best I've felt and sounded in about a week and a half. I had laryngitis, but I'm on the mend. So, let's get into our goodies. I am so excited, guys. So excited. Okay, so we have some paper filling and some bubble wrap, which is great because I'm gonna need this as holiday season approaches. So I'm just gonna start from what's on top. The first thing that I picked up, I hope you guys also can hear me. I'm in my kitchen and it's a large open space, so I hope it's not too echoey, but I think it should be okay. The first item I picked up is this NARS lipstick. It's the Audacious Lipstick, which is my favorite lipstick line from them. Also one of my favorites in general. And the color I got is Raquel. Now Raquel is a very light pinky nude color. I don't know if this is gonna work with my skin tone, but we will try it out. So I can't wait to get that. I did go swatch it in store, but of course it looks different. But I love a good NARS lipstick. You can't go wrong with them. These are very creamy, very pigmented, and they last a long time. Next is a palette. This is actually my first Urban Decay palette now. I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep this for myself or give it to someone else, hint, hint. But I did pick up the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I'm sure you guys have heard and seen all about this palette. I decided to get it. I don't know if I want it or not, but luckily Sephora has another promotion in December um, where VIB Rouge can get $25 off a $50 purchase. So that is great. One of the samples I got, which did you guys realize that now, you know, they changed over their Beauty Insider program and now you only get two samples per order. Miss Sephora, we know what you're doing. You're being sneaky. <laughs> you used to get three samples in order, but now you just get two. But you know, anything is better than nothing. So this is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. Ooh, I need to do my hair soon. So I will definitely try that out. 
Then I got the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum, which is basically a retinol serum. I love this. I tried this years ago. A little of this goes a long way. If you guys watched any of my skincare videos last year, you know that I love a retinol. I think retinols are so important for your skincare routine, especially if you're like me and you do have discoloration and hyperpigmentation on your face. Let me check the oven. <laughs> so yeah, I love retinol in my skincare routine and I just recently finished my Sunday Riley Luna, which I like. I used to love it. It used to be very, very hydrating. I don't know if they recently changed the formula because the most recent bottle I got was not as hydrating as it's been in the past. So I figured why don't I just get this? It's a lot cheaper and I can use it with other products to get the moisture that I need. So love that. Next, we have our big boy. These are the Ola Henriksen Nurture Me Makeup Removing Cloths in the 100 count variety. I love these, I get them every sale. Um, I use a lot of makeup wipes. That is my preferred method of removing makeup. It is my first cleanse. I actually dual cleanse my face when I do wear makeup. And so these are a staple for me, I love them. Next, I have the Ula Henriksen Moment of Truth 2-in-1 Polishing Sugar Mask. And if you guys have been watching my channel for years, you know that I used to always rave about this product. And then I stopped buying it. Well, no, I ran out. <laughs> and then I, I was on my no buy because I started my whole, I'm not going to buy as much. So now I only buy when I need it. You can smell it, Chloe. It's just paper. So this is basically an exfoliating and hydrating and brightening mask, which I love. I've done a review about this product. If you'd like to see it, just search Ula Henriksen mask on my channel. So I already know I'm gonna love that. Every night my throat starts hurting. <laughs> I'm like, I guess this is my body's way of telling me to stop talking. But it's so hard for me because I love to talk. Okay. <laughs> Then we have the Estee Lauder Nightwear Plus Antioxidant Night Detox Cream, which so many reviews online said that this product was amazing. It's basically a lightweight night cream from Estee Lauder that really helps improve your tone, texture, and hydration. And I was in need of a new night cream since I'm not using my Sunday Riley oil anymore. So I cannot wait to try this product out. I will definitely do a review. Someone left me a comment the other day and said that Estee Lauder products are gimmicks. I should probably let you guys know who don't know that skincare is very subjective. So just because I think something is amazing doesn't mean that you will. Products work differently with our skin. So take that into consideration when looking at reviews and when buying skincare. Speaking of skincare, the next item I got is the Believe the True Cream Aqua Balm, which also, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I love this moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer for the fall and winter time. I can get rid of this packaging because I know I love it. It makes my skin so refined, so hydrated. The texture is just amazing. It's great for dehydrated oily skin which is what I have in the fall and winter then I have a Pat McGrath lipstick look how cute this packaging is okay Miss Pat that is fabulous so let's undo it so I can show you guys the color this is my first ever Pat McGrath um, item so I'm super excited about that and this is just the ingredient list Oh, this is so cute. This packaging is perfection. If you want to get a nice gift for someone who loves makeup, this is everything because this packaging is so cute and luxe um, without being too over the top. But baby, look at this lipstick. Oh my gosh, how cute. It has a pair of lips on the front. Can you guys see that? So cute. Okay, now how do you open it? <laughs> and I don't want to break it. <laughs> I cannot get this open. Do you flip this up? I also got a Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid, which is the only thing I use to get my Beauty Blender squeaky clean. I love this little product. It is very expensive, but I pretty much only purchase it twice a year, so it's not that bad. I clean my Beauty Blender like twice a week when I'm being good. 
Okay, I also got a lip gloss. This is another ABH lip gloss. ABH has really great lip glosses. And this is actually a color that I tried on when I was at Sephora with one of my friends like over a year ago. This is the color Grape Jelly. It is so pretty. I just actually threw away a purple lip gloss because I knew I was getting this package today and I have a ton of makeup in my collection. My lippy drawer was overflowing. So I got rid of like 10 lippies, which 10 out of 100 isn't that great, but they were all old and expired, so I wanted to get them out. And so I thought, what better way? I'm getting a new one today. And ABH lip glosses are so smooth. I have one on now. Um, they're pigmented, they're not sticky, they're high quality, they're pretty inexpensive for a product being sold at Sephora. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend them. I also got another <laughs> lippy. This is from Kat Von D. And I do not know how to pronounce this shade. It's called Baja 5. I'm not sure. But this is also another lippy that I have tried on when I was working at Sephora a long time ago. Many, many years ago. <laughs> but it's the most beautiful magenta. I figured this would be perfect for the fall time. I cannot wait to rock that. It's honestly very similar to Grape Jelly, except for Grape Jelly has a little more pink in it, and this is like more purple, and Grape Jelly is a lip gloss, and this is a liquid lipstick. <clears throat> My other sample is the, the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. I've actually tried this before. I don't like it, so I'm gonna be throwing that away. <laughs> I don't really like mud masks at all. <clears throat> Um, the last two palettes in here, which I was so excited about, and I didn't think they were going to be this tiny. I don't really have big hands, but this is how big they are. So this is the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, and this is in the color Smoky, I think. And I just thought this was too cute. I figured this would be perfect to travel with because I do travel a good bit of time and I'm always fearful of bringing my larger more expensive palettes because I don't want them to break even though I travel with them in my carry-on it's still something that I'm always aware of um, I also got the one in amethyst which is a purple variation which I love purple I think purple looks really nice on um, darker skin tones people with brown eyes so this is what the purple looks like really 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 pretty I just adore those. So I think I am gonna keep these little cases so that when I travel, um, I can just keep them together a little more. So let me put those in there. And the last thing I purchased is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This is my favorite lip balm. You guys always hear me rave about it. And now that we're getting into fall and winter, my lips have been very dry. This is the only thing that remedies my lips. It also has an SPF of 25, which I love. So that is perfect. And that is it for my Sephora haul. I am so happy, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm sorry that it was so informal, but check out the sky out there. It looks so pretty. It's definitely a very pretty fall evening, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it had to be in this setting, but you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna leave the link to the previous video down below and also the discount codes and the dates and my Ebates link. You guys, if you're not shopping Ebates, get with Ebates. So I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna have dinner, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You wanna say bye? You wanna say bye? No, you wanna get in that box, okay, bye. <laughs>